This is an FRG ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. Welcome back to our time of prayer. Today we have a special time of prayer together, the prayer of adoration. Jesus, the source and summit of our faith, we get to spend time with him, we get to adore him. How privileged and honored are we on this Holy Thursday to turn to him, to be able to prepare our hearts as we begin today, the Triduum, towards Easter Sunday. God is love and God wants to speak to you. God wants to work in your heart. So let us together now pray and ask the Lord, welcome the Lord into our hearts and into our whole Easter weekend. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence and your love. We thank you, Lord, that you invite us here in this place, that we're not here by accident. We're not here because we're flipping through the channels and found you. We're here because you have invited us into your presence. Lord, even though we're watching remotely, your presence is not remote. Your presence is near. Your proximity, Lord, right next to us. Your grace, your miracle working power right before us. And so, Lord, we want to be generous with you this Holy Thursday and give you our hearts and give you our minds as we prepare for your suffering and death. Lord, we love you and we're so incredibly grateful to be here, right here in your presence. Holy Spirit, quicken our hearts that we may, through the power of your Spirit, through your power, be present to Jesus in the holy and blessed sacrament. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Very soon we're going to be celebrating Maundy Thursday Mass and part of this Mass is a beautiful psalm that we, we read during the Mass. Very often we pay attention to the first, the, the readings and we pay attention to the first, second reading, we pay attention to the Gospel, but God is also present and speaking to us through the psalm. And this is Psalm 115. So I'm just going to reflect on this as we kneel as we are present before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. 
Psalm says, How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? You know, we can never do that. We don't deserve God's goodness. We don't deserve God's presence. We don't deserve God's love. We don't deserve His forgiveness, but God is extravagant in His love towards us. We can't earn it. We don't deserve it. But all we need to do is to ask for it because it has already been given because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross. He gives us His Eucharist, the, His body, blood, soul, divinity. And there we can find the strength. Do you know, every time we approach the Lord, every time we go to the Eucharist, we're calling upon the name of the Lord. Romans 10, 13, those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So together, let's call upon the name of Jesus. 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 It's not just a name, you see, it's the name that saves us with the intention that we need Him to save us. Jesus, we call upon your name. The psalm continues, O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of His faithful, your servant, Lord, your servant am I, you have loosed, loosened my bonds. The world sometimes tells us that once we die, we're lost, we're forgotten. People remember us maybe 20, 30, 50, at most 100 years. But then, in the eyes of the world, we may be forgotten. But the amazing thing is that God will never forget us. We're in His presence forever. What a beautiful invitation to know Him, to love Him, to be remembered, to be known so intimately, not just in this life, but forever. This Holy Week, we remember the power of death, but how powerless death is in the power of the resurrection. So we wait in anticipation through His death and suffering, but knowing that our hope, our hope, is in Jesus rising from the dead. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. Thanksgiving sacrifice, Eucharistia. Thanksgiving sacrifice I will make. I will go to the Eucharist, I will go to the table of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. This is exactly what we're doing here, at the Eucharistic table, calling upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all of His people. Lord, I want to be faithful, not only when people are watching, but even in the silence, in the stillness. I want to trust in You, and in all that you provide and in all that I am to give to you. Lord, my vows to the Lord I will fulfill. I will fulfill them in the silence of my life, but also in the loudness of the world around me, before all of his people. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for welcoming me here. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for speaking to me here. Let us stop just for a minute and listen to the voice of the Lord.
Savior, I come, quiet my soul. Redemption's hill where your blood was spilled for my ransom. Everything I once held dear, I count it all as lost. Lead me to the cross. next few days you get to lead us to your cross. We get to walk with you through your suffering, persecution, torture, and death. Lord, we want to be present. Lord, not be distracted by the things of this world, by the busyness of life, but please, Jesus, make us generous with you over the next few days. Thank you so much for this retreat that we get to spend time together, to pray together, to grow together. But Lord, we want to give you ourselves. We want to be present. Lord, the sadness that you felt, give us a glimpse of that. The pain you felt, give us even just a little bit of understanding the desolation, loneliness. Lord, let us know 
your heart at that moment. But always, Lord, always with the hope of what is to come on Sunday. We bow, Lord, in adoration. We bow to you, O King of kings, you who reign on high. We adore you. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have given us the true bread from heaven. In the strength of this food, may we live always by your life and rise in the glory of the last day. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so together we'll pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. 
Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Jesus, Lamb of God, saving love for all, Lord of heaven and earth, Father's love for all. On behalf of FRG Ministry, thank you for joining us for this time of prayer. We're grateful for you. We're grateful for the opportunity always to be able to provide an opportunity for you to turn to Jesus. Jesus is the center of everything we do. We love Jesus and we pray and hope that you too will love Jesus more than we do. Please join us for the Holy Thursday celebrations. This is going to be an opportunity for us to begin the Easter Tree Duom. Remember, it's one liturgy over three days. So let's begin this time and this day dedicated to the Lord, being generous with God and knowing that God is going to give us the strength we need, but also the love for Him that we need to be able to be true disciples of Jesus Christ. God bless you and we'll see you at the Eucharist. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of FRG Ministry partners and donors. Please go to frgministry.com donate to make a donation.